This volcano is sponsored by Loot Crate. Go ahead and use LootCrate.com slash Bricky and promo code Bricky to save 10% on my sponsor's cool new special pop culture items, different kinds of memorabilia, and more importantly, shirts. Every single crate that comes with Loot Crate does have a free shirt in it, and that alone can net some pretty damn awesome fashion. And if you're a fan of For Honor, which I assume you are, I know you're a fan of fashion. Go ahead and check out the description. Tin cans, weebs, and neckbeards. My name is Bricky, and what are we doing? Putting war assets on the volcano. And who are we doing it with today? The Warden. He's a stabber, a slicer, and knows everything there is to know about shoulder pain. Wearing partial plate, as well as chainmail and leather armor, as well as boasting a two-handed longsword, which we'll nickname the bicep. Because the bicep always comes after the shoulder. Solicited as a vanguard, the war is a jack of all trades hero. Standard health pool, standard damage, he is straight down the middle. And as a warden, you must use the power of your bicep to inflict extreme pain upon your enemies. Your top light attacks are fast and do decent damage, while your side lights take slightly longer, but guarantee a second strike for a little more damage. Your heavies are extremely slow, but provide massive power as a top heavy can hit for mega damage. If they are either a bot or don't know what blocking is. But for the bread and butter of the warden, look no further than the shoulder bash. A quick charge move that, if landed, can guarantee a double side light combo and then combo into more shoulder bashes. You can charge up the bash to travel farther, and a fully charged one can wall splat and net you intense damage. These can also be fainted into a guard break or cancelled entirely. Speaking of guard breaks, if you land one, you can get a free side heavy, or we throw them into a wall, a free top heavy. When unlocked, you can do a very fast sprinting attack, however, do be careful because some people know that this is coming and will immediately parry you and make you regret anything that you were doing. Do not forget your never attack me for the top special move either. Crushing Counter Strike is used when you do a top light at the parry point of an enemy top attack. Doing so will negate their attack, do insane damage, and guarantee a shoulder bash and double light combo. Zone attack comes out at insane speed and is great for clearing minions and catching someone off guard. But do be careful, because like most zone attacks, it costs a lot of stamina. So what about parries? Well, as a warden, doing a heavy parry will net you a free double side light, which can go into shoulder bashes. Or if you parry a light, you get a free top heavy, which they will certainly feel. Out of stamina enemy? Get excited. Shoulder bash upon shoulder bash upon shoulder bash, and never stop bashing. Guard break them and throw them when they're out of stamina, you get a free top heavy when they land on the ground. Parry an attack when they're out of stamina, you get a side heavy and then a top heavy, which also works if you throw them into a wall and you happen to be very close. And just like that, that is the Warden. Soldier with a shoulder and a very sharp bicep. And how do you fight as the Warden? How do you liberate the volcano? Well, with difficulty right now. It's not easy playing the Warden right now. An S-tier hero fallen from grace. Someone with Soria one-dimensional kit, but does have that shoulder of pure holy justice. Your lights are fast from the top, but can be parried easily if you become readable. Your zone is fast and strong, but can out of stamina you more than you expect. Heavies are very rarely used from neutral, unless you're doing the standard heavy faint guard break combo. And if they ever do actually work, I chalk it up to your enemy being so surprised you would ever just throw out a heavy that they messed up the parry. So really, all you got is that bash. And the shoulder of justice isn't bad, not far from it. It's just all you got. The standard bash gets you light damage, which is nice. They're dodging a lot. You can turn into a guard break, which of course gives you solid damage. And if you feel like it, you can do the full charge and get that three top heavy, which is very strong. If they start trying to light attack you while you charge up the bash, you can go ahead and feint it and try to parry it sometimes. There's a lot of different options you have with the shoulder bash. It just depends on the reads. Oh, my back! Besides that, there's some other cool tricks you can use with the Warden. For instance, if you decide to go ahead and run them with a sprint attack, you can instead go ahead and immediately lock on and do a zone attack, because the zone comes from the opposite direction of a sprinting attack and it might throw them off guard. Using the shoulder bash is generally a pretty good way if you want to go ahead and negate or immediately punish someone else's opening move. For instance, if you're trying to dodge a Lawbringer shove, a Centurion kick, you can just immediately hop to the side and boom, free bash free damage. But when you look a lot farther from there, that's all the Warden really is. It's rinse and repeat. Hell, sometimes I find success with the Warden by just doing weird stuff like letting heavies fly, using side lights from neutral. Mm. 
you can make use of his entire kit if you try really hard or if you're fighting somebody who isn't particularly good. But when you get to the higher levels, man, you are a shoulder bash machine, and that's all you are. But of course, we gotta cover those cosmetics and executions. Here are three special wardens I have created. The Edge Warden, the Golden Black Manor Warden, and the Never Ending Crusade Warden. Execution wise, we have the Spin Move, Holy Bitch Slap, Human Beyblade, Short Sorting, Give Me a Hug, Give Me a Slightly Slower Hug. Extra shoulder bashing. And the literal meme. <laughs> and just like that, we have the Holy Land Liberator himself icing their shoulder after a serious amount of bashing. Style and design wise, he's a beauty. Arguably one of the coolest looking heroes with some extremely sexy executions. He's definitely lacking a little bit in the power department right now, but you can still make him work with his shoulder. The only downside is that it's far from fun just spamming one move over and over getting a win. That's Gladiator's job, buddy. So Warden Mains, sit tight. Wait for some buffs or a rework, and most importantly, ice that shoulder. My name is Bricky, and send me your best Warden fashion on Twitter at twitter.com slash Bricky for a chance to be featured in the next episode. Deus Volt. Bye-bye. Victory!